the oldest British archive outside of England has opened its doors to the public in Rome. For its Memory, Martyrs and Mission exhibit, the Venerable English College seeks to inspire the future by remembering its nearly 700 year past. This idea of continuity and um, there are many challenges in the church today and there have always been challenges in the church and I think it helps people's understanding of this continuity continuum of continuity over many, many centuries. The college was founded as a hospice in the mid-14th century before being converted into a residence for seminarians as it remains today. The institution provided a safe haven for Catholic English and Welsh students fleeing religious persecution in their homeland. As indicated in the name of the exhibit, many who returned paid the ultimate price for their faith. Thus, the exposition honors these individuals and their peers who courageously practice their faith. In addition to the college's archives, items were drawn from two other affiliated institutions in England and France, taking visitors on a journey through the English church up until World War II. These pieces of jigsaw, if I could call them like this, when locked together and brought together for the first time in or first time ever in some cases, or reunited after more than 200 years, show a much bigger picture, much clearer picture than we've ever been able to understand hitherto. Notable pieces include relics of English martyrs and even the Zucchetto of Pope Benedict XIV, as well as the map of Rome he commissioned in the mid-1700s. While most visitors are seeing these items for the first time, each new student at the college is given a tour of the archives to be informed on the roots of the church's mission before moving it forward. That aspect of mission goes on right down to the present day and on into the future. And we're, we emphasize the future too. It's a continuum and the students today are very aware of their heritage and going back to England Wales in the full knowledge that they are continuing a long tradition of mission. As the exhibit in Rome is now drawing to a close, organizers are hoping to bring their vibrant collection to England, shedding light on a pipeline of clergy-to-be that continues today.